My name is George Rickety. I'm currently the General Manager for Hyundai Forklifts Finance. I'm located in Sydney in Australia. The Instant Asset Write-Off is an incentive provided by the government to drive investment in assets. It's typically for assets purchased up to a value of $150,000 and it can be claimed on multiple assets. It is limited to companies that are small to medium sized and actually even up to large as well. So if you've got an aggregator turnover of less than $500 million, you do qualify for it. What does it allow you to do as a small business? Let's say we've sold you a forklift for $30,000. Historically, you would have only been able to claim the depreciation on that asset over a five to seven year period that you owned the asset. Now you can actually claim that as one upfront payment. So what that effectively does is it allows you to claim that $30,000 in the tax year for 2022 coming up. And that will increase your expenses. Uh, invariably, that will then reduce your profit and the amount of tax you could potentially pay. Um, I will say that you will need to uh, seek independent advice from your accountant. This is general advice only, but it is a good reason for customers or for businesses to actually sit there, have a look at where they potentially sit. And with the end of financial year coming up June 30, it's really important over the next couple of months that businesses take stock and have a look at whether using this government incentive is the right thing for them to do. Uh, we'd like for you to obviously have that conversation, but also give us a call at Hyundai, where we can offer fun funding solutions as well as check what's in stock and if we've got machines there that you can actually buy, purchase and fund and have in your fleet by June 30, you could certainly make a big difference to your position financially. And so last year, we had a number of our clients who were able to take advantage of the instant asset write-off. And what it did for them, particularly on the back of COVID, it allowed them to bring forward investment decisions that they would normally take a little bit longer to, to do. So rather than wait a year or two to buy assets, it brought it forward for them and they were able to not only bring new equipment into their fleet, but they were also able to claim a larger tax deduction as well. So whilst this incentive is in place until the end of 2023, I think it's a really good idea for businesses to actually review their situation now between sort of May and the end of end of financial year being June 30, and then make that decision. The call to action would be one, understand the instant asset write-off and that there are distinct benefits there for you as a business. Two, have a look at maybe rushing that decision, but not rushing it, making it considered between now and the end of financial year. Talk to your accountant, and if there is stock available, take advantage of it. And three, we're here to do the finance as well.